I was in bad shape. And looking at his the right leg was more you know disabled. It's thinner than the right than the left leg. And the thinner one is the most uh, um, you know jiggered. And uh, this right foot because it was it's more active. It has lesser jiggers. It will just be probably one clip. But for the left foot, we had three clips of almost 15 minutes each. And uh, that's why I hate jiggers, because they attack weakness. Where the weakness is, that is where the jiggers feast, uh, make a habitation. When you are weak, when you get disabled and you're in the sub-Saharan Africa, where the concentration of jigger victims is very high, you are li most likely to get one jigger that will multiply and eventually they will bring you down. I hate them. I hate them because they lurch upon disability. And the worst enemy and what the enemy does is to feast upon your weakness. Your enemies will try to expound, to magnify your weak areas, to make you look so bad, as though they are better. That's what the enemy does. The hater will be quiet until your weakness is exposed. Then they will come for you. And expose your weakness and in 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 the process seem as though they are better off they are the angels and you're the villain they are the they are the good guys and you're the devil that's what the enemy does and jiggers will do the same jiggers will attack you when you're weak and expose your weakness and make you seem as though you are weak after all make it look as though even when you were strong you were still weak it's just that people didn't realize that you are weak then that's what the enemy does people's reputations have been messed up by this tactic from the evil world um, and those who exposed the so called evilness were worse off in fact, they were not as gifted. They were just very weak. But perhaps they have some language. Perhaps they can access some technology. Perhaps they have some connection. They used that to bring others down. And good men seem so bad to the world because of the efforts of those little haters who were not as gifted, not as beautiful, not as tender-hearted the worst, the scam. Those are the people who discuss and bring others down. In fact, whenever I see somebody doing expose in the name of a blogger or a media house or whatever, what I see is just weak-minded human beings ganging together in one organization to not discuss what they're doing but discuss what others are not doing or what others have done wrong it is a show of low intelligence to me it means these people are not as intelligent to me it means they're not as wise it's an exposition of lack of wisdom it is uh, what you call escapism you know trying to hide the reality um, of their insecurities and therefore talking about others to hide their own weakness and true identity it is lack of boldness to face their own mess so they resort to talking about your mess thinking that in so doing their own mess is covered it's covered up by them talking about your shite. And I, I have a disdain. I loathe that behavior. And I have very little respect for those who 
exposed. Recently, somebody who has that behavior was talking to me, and uh, he wanted to be friends with me, and I was very suspicious. Um, reached a restaurant, and at the restaurant, and bought food, bought them lunch, and made sure they are they're eating more than I do. So. I, in fact, I changed my mind to just get away from this mouthy guy. So I, I bought them good lunch, and then I just bought myself a drink so that I can leave them there eating. And because he really, to prove that he really wanted to mess me up, he refused to eat, like he began to eat, then he realized I wasn't going to eat as much. So then he said, no, no, I, I, you know, I just wanted to have some time with you, to make friends with you, and you're a great man, and so I, I won't eat a lot of this food. I said, no, I've already paid for it, you have to sit down and eat. And then he was like, no, 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 I just have to live with you. When you leave, I said, no, you have to sit down and eat. I've bought you lunch, you must eat, because I've spent money on this. And then I, when he insisted, I become a little bit harsh. I said, no. Then I doubt your motive. Just eat the lunch. No, 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 I don't have an ill motive. I said, okay, well, then eat the lunch. We'll meet another time. I think he left. He didn't even eat the food, but I didn't care. I had already paid for it. So I walked away and I won. When I got into my car and, and drove away, I, I drove into liberty. I drove to freedom away from this so-called expose, this person who prides themselves in, you know, when they're having a conversation with you, they're recording you on their phones, or they're having hidden cameras and they're recording what you're saying. You know, this kind of illiterate behavior that is done by people who have not even gone to school to learn the art of um, investigation, criminal justice, criminal investigation, all that. They just do it in a way that is so unlearned and they mess up people. And for some strange reason, people love such kind of people. They're having huge following on, on social media. This particular individual has over three million followers on on his Facebook account and maybe a million followers or thereabouts on his Twitter account. He has a lot of following on, on TikTok. So he's a very, very popular quote-unquote blogger. And one day, one day, the chickens will come home to roost. They will pay for what they do. Fortunately, the lives they would have messed up would not be reversed. The mess up won't be reversed. It's permanently done. The damage is permanent. So, jiggers are like that. They're, they're, they're full of, you know, feasting upon weakness. Because you're weak here, that is where I'll dwell. That's where I'll expose. That is where I'll eat from. Feasting on dead things, feasting on the rottenness, on on bad smells. It is evil. It is satanic. In the Bible, there is a tribe that did that, and God hated them, and they were destroyed. They no longer exist. They are found in the Bible, in the book of Exodus. They are called the Amalekites. They they attacked the weak. They attacked children and women and those who were disabled. And their war wasn't really like man to man, army best, but they attacked the, the netha, the lower parts of the population. And God hated them for that. And he destroyed them. Totally, they were all destroyed. Because God hates people attacking weakness as though they are strong themselves. If you are judgmental and you're always fond of talking about other people's stuff, the bad stuff, exposing their weaknesses, 
exploiting their weaknesses you know you're just a weak fella and your day is coming a day of reckoning you are indeed a jigger such people are jiggers we have jigger human beings jigger people jigger people they will expose you and 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 sit to just talk about you and they feel so happy when they are talking about others talking about what what so and so did and and why so and so failed and nodding their heads as if they have the answers to questions when they are so empty themselves they're so broke most of these people because they have no wisdom they cannot bath a dream of their own and they dwell in the dreams of others while people are always bathing dreams daily as i speak a dream is being born somewhere and the dream is dying somewhere they're not part of this equation they are just just talk about how other people's dreams went sour how so and so failed what happened to so and so these are people without any gifting they're not living their purpose and they disgust me i call them jiggers the jigger people and we have them in our families we have them in in our neighborhoods we have them in our churches we have them in our schools we have them in leadership positions they mess up people they will destroy you and make you stop working optimally because they just wait for the wrong chord to be struck then they will raise the alarm and rewind the video just rewind this video let's hear how it played out how could you play out that is not chord that is a chord oh so what i want to move on i already did so please excuse me yes i you know i messed up but i moved on just leave me alone s o b Is it was Andala? Okay, so it's 13 minutes, and so we are going to do clip number two for the left foot.